Everyone has probably heard of industrial robots, but has never seen them in daily life. What on earth do they actually look like? And what do they actually do? An industrial robot is like an enhanced version of a human arm. It can move, grasp, and use various tools, just like a human arm. However, it is stronger and it has a wider range of motion, allowing it to handle tasks such as picking and placing materials in factories or moving heavy objects. Additionally, it offers higher stability and can work eternally without getting tired. But as we mentioned before, since an industrial robot is similar to a human arm, why not just hire humans instead? Industrial robots are primarily used to replace humans' tasks such as highly polluting works, long hours works, or high precision works. For example, in a chemical plant, using an industrial robot can prevent employees from inhaling toxic gases or contacting with corrosive liquids. Similarly, in a paint shop, industrial robots can prevent employees from inhaling harmful fumes. Also, in factories that need to operate 24 hours a day, using industrial robots not only eliminates the need for breaks, but also helps avoid errors caused by operator fatigue. This not only improves yield and increases precision, but also helps fill staffing gaps. Especially with the increasing problem of labor shortages today, industrial robot can fill the gaps and assist factory operators. This helps address issues such as labor shortages and personnel training. Now that we have a general understanding of what industrial robots do. However, there are many types of industrial robots available. For different situation, which type is the most suitable one? Next, we will introduce two classic types, Articulated Robot and SCARA Robot. First of all, Articulated Robots have a higher degree of freedom, greater expandability, and a larger working range compared to SCARA Robot. On the other hand, the characteristics of SCARA Robot are their speed, high precision, and lightweight design. Both types of industrial robots come in different models, representing varying working ranges and maximum payloads. The working range of SCARA robot is generally over 300 mm, with various options for maximum payload, such as 6, 10, 12, 22 kg, and more. As for articulated robots, their working range typically exceeds 700 mm, with some of them reaching up to 1,400 mm or more. Their maximum payload is 7, 12 kg, or even higher. You can consider the appropriate type of robot based on applications. For fast horizontal pick and place tasks, SCARA robot are very suitable. On the other hand, tasks that require multi-angle movement, such as spraying paint or welding, are better suited for articulated robots to ensure there are no blind spots during movement. In the video, for example, the flexibility of an articulated robot is used to achieve multi-angle photography. The second video shows a SCARA robot fastening screws, which is a simple task that doesn't require multi-angle movement. The SCARA robot can complete it quickly and accurately. Next, we will introduce how to operate the industrial robot. DRA Studio is an app developed by Delta specifically for operating industrial robots. In addition to moving the robot directly with buttons, this app also allows you to control a series of robot movements by programming in communication with input and output signals. It supports teaching points and allows you to set the inertia of jig within the app so that the robot can achieve the fastest and most stable movement. As shown in the video, if the setting of inertia is too small, the robot will shake after movement, which could lead to large machining tolerance. However, if the setting is too heavy, it will cause the movement to be too slow, reducing efficiency and contradicting the purpose of using the robot. In DRA Studio, you can use four different types of coordinate. The first is the axis coordinate, which allows each axis to move at specific angles individually. The second is the world frame, which has a fixed coordinate axis that remains constant regardless of the situation. The third type is the user frame, which allows users to set the direction of the X and Y axis so that the robot can move along the defined coordinate axis. In DRA Studio, you can set the origin, the X axis direction, and the Y axis direction to establish the user frame. For example, in the video, the tooltip moves upward along a slanted surface because the user-defined Y axis direction is slanted upward. 
This can be applied to non-horizontal surfaces. Next, we'll introduce the fourth coordinate, the tool frame. The tool frame is based on the tool tip, meaning that when the robot rotates, it treats the tool tip as the center. The industrial robot adopts three different postures to keep the tool tip at the same point for setting the tool frame. As shown in the video, this is how you successfully set the tool frame. After attaching the tool, the tool frame is usually used to control the position of the tool tip. Another operating interface is the API, Application Interface. It is a more customizable user interface that includes some of the features of DRA Studio. It allows users to edit the interface themselves, removing unnecessary functions and placing frequently used features on the main page, making it meet with the user's operational needs. The last software is Simicad. It is primarily a platform for simulating the movement of industrial robots. In this software, you can set the actual working range, add custom design tools, and set the tool frame and user frame. It also includes collision detection and allows you to program the robot's movements. Using these features, you can simulate real-world scenarios to envision how the robot will move and how the production line should be planned before purchasing the industrial robot. Simicad also includes some common tools, such as grippers, conveyors, cameras, and more, making the simulation process easier. At last, we'll introduce how the industrial robots and its peripherals work. Firstly, let's talk about vision. Vision functions like the eyes of the industrial robots. Cameras can identify the location and orientation of objects. Even if objects are misaligned, the robot can still position them correctly by camera. Vision systems can also distinguish between different items, allowing for the processing of various products on the same production line, which helps reduce the need for multiple production lines. In quality control, vision systems provide real-time feedback on product defects, improving production yield. In the video, you can see how cameras are used for inspection and positioning before placing items into the positioning jigs. Next is conveyor tracking, CVT. Often, industrial robots work alongside conveyors in the factory. To increase efficiency, CVT allows the industrial robot to move in sync with the conveyor, eliminating the need to wait for the conveyor to stop before performing processing tasks. This process is achieved by tracking the movement distance reported by the conveyor. Additionally, using cameras, sensors, or methods like equidistant placement of objects can provide more precise information about the object's position, making conveyor tracking more accurate and efficient. We can also increase the industrial robot's degree of freedom by adding external axes. Using external axes allows the robotic arm to achieve greater functionality and mobility, making it more convenient for use in factories and enabling application at multiple positioning points. To add external axes, just simply connect its driver to the main controller. In the video, the industrial robot uses a track at the bottom to move between the lathe and the pick and place area. Tracks are a common application of external axes, as they expand the robot's working range. After introducing all of the above, let's finally introduce a real-world application case of Delta industrial robots on the production line. This video shows a case where Delta industrial robots, equipped with vision systems, are used for screw fastening. Delta's industrial robot can control the downforce of fastening to ensure that the product is not damaged. They also provide real-time torque adjustments and feedback, detect anomalies, and maintain fastening quality. The system can also record the number of fastenings to prevent issues like underdriven screws. With the vision system, it ensures that the fastening position is precise and that screws are fastened vertically. Additionally, it allows for the production with different fastening locations on the same production line. Compared to manual operation, industrial robots offer more stable screw fastening, provide real-time data feedback, reduce error rates, increase output and line change efficiency, and save on labor. We hope today's introduction helps you gain a clearer understanding of industrial robots and industrial automation.